What you see here is actually a solution uh, for two billion people worldwide. Before I start a little to tell you about the product, uh, it might make sense uh, to tell you first the figure uh, which makes sense to a lot of people. Worldwide, there are two billion people not connected to any form of electricity. In South Africa, the country where our company is based, is more than 10 million people in the sub-Saharan country. There are 575 million people not connected to power. One of the biggest problems with power is to get it to the people. So what you see is that the countries who do have power, uh, it's, it's supplied by the uh, electricity companies, and these electricity companies uh, have to dig and have to go in the air. It's expensive to get it there. So what we are doing, uh, we invented uh, a product uh, and developed a product where we store solar power into portable units. And if you look to the product, uh, we actually sell power in a box. Power in a box which doesn't need any installation, doesn't need any maintenance. Uh, people can buy it from us uh, and they go where they need the power. They put the panel in the sun and they charge the unit. It needs to charge from roughly eight hours. With after eight hours, the batteries are full. And what we have, yeah, we start with 50 watt product, which is good for, uh, for instance, the lights. Yeah, it's good to charge your phone. You just put it in here yeah, and you can charge your phone. But we also have products yeah, where you can run a TV, you can run a fan, you can run a little fridge. So the whole concept is based on portable power without any installation. It's new, yeah, it's actually a new development which we are introducing yeah, here in the, during the UN conference in, in, in Windhoek. And we are focusing mainly on markets like the African market, the Indian market. But believe it or not, even the Chinese market is potentially a big market. So, uh, so, so give us give us an idea about um, how long these lights will last for. Then, so you can charge it for you charge it for eight hours, presumably during during the daytime, and then um, each uh, box, each eco box, comes with uh, two LED lamps. How long will they last for once once it gets dark? The 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 the, the, the what we actually did, yeah, we communicate hours per product. If you start with the lowest product, mm -hmm. yeah. The 50 watt, the light will last for 15, 16 hours on a full battery. Yeah, so that's that's quite a long time. If you look, for instance, to uh, the next step, the EcoBox 90, yeah, it's already more than 30 hours. So we make step from the 50 to the 90, the 120, the 160, which you all see here. The 160, yeah, runs more than 200 hours. So. It, the, the, the concept is simple, the more power you want, the more you pay. So if you start with only lights and charging a phone, yeah, we are selling around 999 rands, which is equal to roughly 100 US dollar yeah, to the people. Yeah, and we make steps up to 150, 200 dollar, and we go even to 2000. 2000 dollar, you buy 1500 watt. Yeah, that's a unit where you can run your house with. Yeah, so that's quite an, an yeah, that's interesting cool. story for people uh, without any form of electricity. And, and what was the cheapest option again and, and where do you see, um, t tell us first what the cheapest option is and then perhaps you can explain where you think this could be um, you know, a real success, uh, not so much regionally but in what sort of communities might benefit from this. The cheapest solution, uh, Tasmin, can you give me the, the Waka, oh, I have it here, sorry. Um, the cheapest solution which we are offering is actually a mini. So if you hold that up, yeah. 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 So this is a light, mm -hmm. yeah, but you can also charge your phone. So that, in other words, yeah, you just yeah, put your USB in here, right, and you put it in your phone. This is the solar panel, mm -hmm. yeah, and this is your light. So yeah, if you have your lights full, yeah, it run roughly 60, 70 hours. Mm -hmm. On the lowest one the lowest one yeah you can run 100 hours a light right yeah you can also run a light and charge your phone yeah depending on the battery quality and how empty your battery is yeah and your battery level goes down but the nice thing about this one yeah, it's we sell it around 500 yeah us uh, no, sorry not us uh, rents so that's roughly uh, 50 uh, us dollars yeah 
and it's small. You can actually carry it with you. So this is the smallest solution in our range. Mm -hmm. It's the Waka Waka Light, and the Waka Waka Light is actually worldwide yeah, uh, distributed now, and we are setting up distribution for this as well. What, what sort of sunlight do you need for that? Do you need to have this um, wonderful yet intense African sunlight that we're experiencing here in Namibia or you know, will these work in um, the, uh, the appalling conditions of the UK in the, uh, in the sort of autumn where we have sort of leaden clouded skies? Uh, yeah, it, it, that, that, that's a good question. Yeah. An African has one, one natural source which is the sun of course. Yeah, and if these products are powered with sun like we have here in Namibia today, yeah, they are faster filling up with power. That's that's clear to everybody. But if you look, for instance, yeah, if you have 10% yeah clouds, yeah, you charge roughly yeah 10% less. Yeah, so it depends a little. You can not give an exact figure. Yeah, but for instance, in this country, on a clouded day where actually there's no sun, yeah, you need roughly yeah. 50 60 percent yeah, of the normal time so uh, in other words the full day eight hours yeah a fully clouded day uh, it might be 14 hours 15 hours yeah so it depending a little yeah but the good thing once more yeah if you compare it with england or holland yeah yeah it might take two three days because there is no sun yeah, yeah. That's, that, that makes it quite challenging for all of us sure um and give us a sense of what interest you've you've had so far so Am I right in saying this launched this year, or at least you're rolling it out this year? We introduced in uh, in uh, Joburg on yeah. the power and electricity world, yeah, where we had a massive interest, yeah, especially out of the African countries, yeah. So what we actually say, there are countries, a lot of countries in Europe, where it's a want to have recreational, boat, camping, yeah, in Africa, it's a need to have. So we don't talk about want; people just need it for life, yeah. And if you look to these markets, yeah, we have actually yeah, uh, every day we get hundreds of inquiries yeah, from all kinds of people yeah, and we are setting up distribution. So we are looking to the right partners in the right markets. Yeah. We are looking to people who have existing distribution, to retail for instance, but also a very important market for us is the NGO market. NGO market yeah, and also the microfinance market because we are also looking into models yeah, where we can offer the products yeah, on a subsidized model. Because there are so many people without electricity who can't afford yeah, just yeah, to spend $50. Yeah. So this is also a market yeah, we are looking in and we are working together with governments. And here at the UN conference we had a lot of interest also from governments. They wanted to talk to us yeah, and to find yeah, also a finance model. In South Africa, to give you an idea, yeah, we are working together with the ANC, yeah, and the ANC wants to give yeah, people yeah, without electricity, they want to give them away. Yeah. So there are all kinds of possibilities yeah, we are looking into, and uh, yeah, long, uh, uh, long story very short, potentially it's big, yeah, it's all about finding the right people around you in the, f the right parties to distribute the product. And that's where we're in. It's a nice journey, and we actually say together, we are lightening up Africa. Please help us to light up Africa. It's interesting you're going down th this route because there's been a lot of talk about developments around the world and how countries are going to give all their populations access yeah. to electricity, which Ban Ki moon um, says is, is one of the key goals of, of the UN, sustainable energy for all. Do you guys sense from a... Um, do, do you sense that governments are increasingly looking at off-grid solutions? Because I guess in Europe and other developed parts of the world, the idea that you have a national grid, um, a fairly rigid national grid, is kind of entrenched in planning departments. Do you sense, are you hearing from people that off-grid solutions are being more readily accepted? No, that's, that's actually what we sometimes say to people. Uh, we are actually we developed a product which is new we have to explain portable power if we say to people that we do something in solar the first thing they talk to us yeah, okay, actually they say to us okay that you need panels on your roof you need inverters you need converters so we have to educate people yeah, that there is a possibility to store solar power into portable units 
So that's actually yeah, a big yeah, uh, uh, actually route ahead for us yeah, to explain to people what we are doing. Yeah, you just saw the gentlemen, yeah, they keep on asking, and how is this, and how is that, and how long is it in the sun? So the off-grid portable solution is new, like navigation came on the market, it was new, people didn't understand yeah, that you had such a little device which were actually bringing you everywhere. Yeah. The high pressure cleaner yeah, also once yeah, was new. Yeah. And we are actually introducing portable solar power, which is new. And we hope, yeah, and actually what we already see, yeah, there's a lot of interest yeah, because people like it. What other things can um, these, uh, the larger batteries that you offer, the sort of EcoBox 160, what other things can they potentially power? Could you plug a laptop into it and, and yeah. run, run that off that? Yeah, if you look to our uh, whole uh, setup yeah, in product, yeah, every product yeah, we are displaying in a pictogram exactly what you can do with it for how long. Mm. Yeah. And for instance, if you look to the EcoBox 160, yeah, you can charge a laptop, yeah, you can charge yeah, and, and, and phone, you can charge a uh, tablet, yeah, but you can charge everything which needs a charge, yeah, but you can also plug a fan you know, to keep you cool, yeah, you can plug in a small fridge. So it's all depending yeah, how big the unit is, the more power the unit is actually using, yeah, the bigger the power yeah, you need from our product. So it's a plug and play, we, we say power a la carte, yeah. so the more you want, yeah, the more